Hello and welcome. Hi, my name's Dave. I currently work as a full-time developer, and I also teach a couple of classes at a state university each semester on the side, and I teach web development and programming fundamentals. And we're going to talk about how you can learn programming as an absolute beginner. The first thing to realize as a beginner is it's easy to get overwhelmed, but don't be. There's so many technologies and so many acronyms and you can watch video after video and it just becomes confusing. But ignore all of that, just focus on the basics. We want to build a foundation in the fundamentals and that will lead to everything else. The second thing to realize as a beginner is that you can start for free. There should be no cost involved to get started programming. All you really need is a computer and a browser. You do not have to buy a fancy computer either. You can just go to the local library if you don't have a computer. You don't need a high-end computer. A Chromebook will work. Anything to get you started that just has a simple browser where you can access some resources and you're good to go. And there is no need to worry about what type of computer you have an access to. There is no specific operating system, also known as OS, that is required. It could be Windows, Mac, Linux, a Chromebook. All you need is a computer with access to a browser. And there is no specific browser. It could be Chrome from Google. It could be Firefox. It could be Safari from iOS. It makes no difference, just a computer and a browser. I need to bring up a question that I'm asked often, and that is, am I too old to start learning to program? Or am I too young to start learning to program? The answer is no, you're not too young, you're not too old. The age doesn't matter and there is no prior experience required. You can start with knowing nothing and you can start at any age. All you really need is the desire to learn. With that, let me address someone that is older that may want to learn to program. We tend to talk ourselves out of things and say, I'm too old to learn this. I don't know, and what really happens is we're creatures of habit. We just don't feel like learning something. But you can get motivated and you can learn new things. And that's what it takes. A quick story, my father was one of the smartest people I've ever known, but I had to program his VCR. It's not that he couldn't do it, he didn't want to learn how. If you want to learn to program, you have to have the desire within you to motivate yourself to go ahead and begin to learn something new. In addition to the desire to learn, as a programmer, you need to be able to focus for long periods of time. And really, it is best to go without interruptions. As a programmer, we sit at a desk and we focus and chain together complex thought patterns and possibly architectures of applications we're designing and constant interruptions like looking at our phone, uh, having the doorbell ring, anything like that can take us out of the zone and it takes a little bit to get back into that zone. You really need to develop the ability to focus deeply on what you're working on. Now that we've talked about what you do and don't need to get started learning programming, let's talk about where to start, which is also a frequently asked question. Often developers start learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Those are the three main technologies of the modern web. And JavaScript runs on almost everything. And as of the Stack Overflow annual survey, for the last about eight years, JavaScript has been the most popular language in the world. Another very popular language choice to start with is Python. And Python also has many applications and is one of the most popular languages in the world. And if you're really interested in analyzing data and getting into AI, Python is the way to go. Now let's look at some free resources that can get you started with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Python, and on your way to learning how to program. First, let's take a look at freecodecamp.org, and you can see the address in my browser address bar, freecodecamp.org and it's very easy to log in with a free account. I've already got one, so when I click here, it will just log me in, but uh, you can create a free account very quick and easily. And let's look at this. The first two uh, areas of their curriculum, responsive web design certification, 300 hours of practice time, approximately for a beginner. 
you've got basic HTML and HTML5, basic CSS, visual design, applied accessibility, responsive web design. And again, this is more than you even need to worry about as a beginner. Just dive into the very first part, basic HTML and HTML5 to get you started. After that, you could jump into JavaScript right away if you want. A great thing about Free Code Camp that they have just added are several Python certificates that you can earn. And this says scientific computing with Python. If you want to start with Python, this is the place and dive into Python for everybody. You can see there are 56 exercises here. I haven't completed these yet as they just recently added these to their site. And they've got all kinds of exercises and this will definitely help you get started. Now besides freecodecamp.org, there is also the Odin Project. And look at the odinproject.com. And when you go there, I believe it'll bring up .com slash home. And you can view the full curriculum. What I like about this is they start with exactly what I was recommending, foundations. And you can view the exact path here. And then they have a full stack JavaScript path available as well. I do not recommend beginners to dive right into Ruby on Rails. That is a back-end technology. Nothing to worry about there as a beginner, but foundations would really be the place to start here. So you've got a couple of options there. Now, what about writing the code on your own? You want to build something, and Free Code Camp actually back here has projects they recommend when you get to the end of your studies in an area. They have responsive web design projects, and there are five projects to complete in each area. And you need a site to write your code. There's a couple of free sites I recommend. Let's go to codepen.io, and you can see this is the best place to build, test, and discover front-end code. That may be debatable, but it is a very good place to start. And so let's start coding here at codepen.io, and you can see what I mean. When the page comes up, you have a frame for HTML, a frame for CSS, and a frame for JavaScript. One of the very first things you'll learn when you begin programming is how to write a basic hello world that'll just get your feet wet with the code. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll write some HTML first. I'm using an H1 element and I'll put hello world with an exclamation mark. And I finished that H1 tag, and you can see I've got hello world on my output already. Now we can modify how this looks with CSS. And so I'm going to select the body of the page, and I'm going to change the background color to yellow. And then I'm going to set the height of the page to 100% of the viewport height. I could have just said 100%, but I've got 100 viewport height. And now I'm going to align the hello world in the center. I'll do that by setting the display to flex. And then I'll set justify content to center. And then I'll align items center. And you can see CodePen is keeping up and updating the code. And now our hello world is in the center of our yellow page. And now I can even write JavaScript here. So I'm going to select that with document, query selector. And I'll select that H1 element and I'm going to change the text content to hello, Dave. Oh, did we get the exclamation mark? There it is. And CodePen has updated and we just went through HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for free on codepen.io. Now let's say I want to write Python. There is a great site for that, and it's called REPL.IT. Yes, let's go ahead and leave this page. And I'm in the Chrome browser, by the way. And when we get here, now it logged me in. Once again, you can easily create a free account. Just click Languages in the left-hand column. And after you've clicked languages in the left-hand column, we can search for a language. And I'll search for Python. And Python comes up right here at the top when I search for that. I'll click that, and you can see I've got Python. It gives me a project name. 
and it says create new REPL. That's what they call your little programs on their site. So I'll click create REPL. And very shortly, I will have a window to create a Python program in. And we are ready to write Python in Python 3.8.2 right here on REPL. So we also have access to code Python for free on the web. And I'll once again do a simple hello world. Print with quotes and hello world. You can tell Python is a very friendly language. As soon as I finish typing that command, I'm going to click run. And we have hello world from Python. Once again, free access to writing different types of code in the browser. And we went to codepen.io and then we went to repl.it. This video has been just about learning to program as an absolute beginner, but I'll be sharing more videos on topics like being a self-taught developer versus getting a computer science degree or a degree in a related field, and possibly about what to learn next, which is a frequently asked question. I'll also be sharing many programming tutorials, so make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Now, besides having the desire to learn, the main thing you need to remember right now is to just get started. That's what holds most people back, but that's what you need to do right now. Just get started. I'll see you next time.